welcome to case money matters and i'm in finland i've been traveling recently it's fun it's sunny it's amazing finland is usually very cold but at this time it's extremely hot it's enjoyable i'm having fun here anyway we're gonna do a new video as usual i'm not going to just relax and not give you videos so we're gonna discuss the best business ideas in kenya in 2021 and it's going to be just brainstorming on what can you start with anything between 20,000 Kenya shillings to 100,000 Kenya shillings or even 200,000 Kenya shillings. It's going to be a great video. So welcome in as usual here at Kenya's Money Matters. We discuss the money mindset, how to make that money, how to enjoy that money, how to manage that money and how to invest that money. Welcome and let's get in. <laughs> Hello guys what's up so like i told you we're going to be discussing some of the best business ideas that you can start in 2021 like you know in case money matters we want to make sure that you don't just focus on investments we are also focusing on the fact that you need the money to invest a lot of people right now are looking for opportunities after covid hit last year many opportunities actually went underwater and a lot of new people are looking for new opportunities so that they can start their lives. And like I said, you also have to think like an entrepreneur. So even if you have a job, you want to have like a side hustle, you want to be doing something that is useful and meaningful and that you are in control of. So entrepreneurship is a large field. It provides you lots of opportunities, lots of growth, and you can always scale your business as high as you want. So I still believe even if you're employed, entrepreneurship is something you have to think about. You need to start somewhere and start small. And that's why I'm going to be looking at the businesses you can start between 30,000 Kenya shillings to 100,000 Kenya shillings. These are normal businesses. I've done some of them, so I understand them. And the others that I've done so much research on are things I know people are doing and succeeding in. So I'm not just speculating here. I'm giving you real stuff, real gem as usual. Hey, I told you I'm in Finland. It's so sunny. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. Let me just switch this camera for one second and just show you how beautiful it is. Usually we don't get this in Finland, by the way. Finland is usually very cold, very white with lots of snow, but this, this year is just amazing. Let me just show out my window, you see? Looking amazing, looking green, looking all nice. Honestly, we miss the sun usually. So when we get the opportunity to, we talk about it, we enjoy it as much as possible, and we stock that vitamin D. Anyway, guys, welcome back to Kenya's Money Matters, and let's focus on what you want to do. You want to think of businesses, you know, business opportunities. You want to grow, you want to develop, you want to open side hustles. You want to make money, make money, make money. That is where we're going to. So what are some of the businesses that you need to get into, that you can get into in 2021, going into 2022, and you will make good money? And you can start these businesses with anything like 20K all the way to 200, 300, 400, 500,000, or however much you want to scale your business. I'm gonna do a part one, then I'll do another part two, just to be sure that we've covered everything else. And I've also done another one earlier on businesses you can start with 10,000 Kenya shillings. It's up somewhere here or in the description below. Look for that and watch it. If you have like 10,000 or anything less than 20K, you can always get into those businesses. Guys, let's get into it. Offering internet services now. We are in a technological world. Everything is technology. So however much, you know, cyber cafes and all these places that offer internet services have been growing, there is not enough growth for everyone. There's always an opportunity for other people to come in. I believe this is an area that you can still scale up. You can get into it, scale it up and invest good money and make good profit out of it. It's something that is still growing. The reasons why I think it's still growing is number one is the technological world is still growing. Number two, you want to target those people who don't have phones. Students don't have phones as such in a developing country like Kenya. So you want to focus on areas that have people who will definitely need those services. People still need to download stuff. People need to print stuff. People still need to apply for jobs. People still need to apply for different opportunities all over the world, in the diaspora, whatever. And it's not just the internet service by itself. It's printing, it's scanning, it's photocopying, it's faxing, it's emails, whatever. It's not just the cyber service. But there are so many things that people nowadays do. Children nowadays go to the cyber to play a game. So there are so many opportunities in terms of internet services. So don't think of it in a rigid manner of, you know, maybe just providing the traditional cyber cafe that we had. 
Think of ways in which you can make it more adaptable and find a good location for it. There's a business that you can always scale and make good returns out of. So internet services, that's a good place to start. Cyber cafe, printing, photocopying, a place like that. Always needed. Nowadays, you can even print digital photos in a cyber cafe. So find ways in which you can make yours more inclusive. The government services are moving online. You know, when we are applying for passports, when you're applying for carry pins, when you're applying for any government service nowadays, you need internet and you need to download stuff, you need pictures, you need ID photocopies, you need stuff like that. If you provide something that's all inclusive, we will always come to you. So this is one business you can begin with anything between 5K up to 15K. Of course, it can be more depending on what you want, but this is something you want to get into for sure. The return on investment with regards to this particular one would be something like 10 times whatever it is you invest. So if you invest like 5K, you could be getting 50,000 profit with time. You have to have good customer service, have everything in place, have a good internet, good location, good customer service, good computers, good speed and stuff like that. But like I say, you can 10 times your investment with just the profits you're getting out of this business regularly. Number two is one that I love. I'm doing it right now. I've been doing it for a while now, Forex trading. Forex trading always gives you money. It's something that you should have on the side. I always tell people you have to treat it like a job. You have to treat it like a business if you want to succeed. A lot of people come into Forex trading with the wrong mentality and that's why they lose money. So it's high risk, but it's high reward. It's very risky, I have to make that very clear. Forex trading requires skills, it requires patience, it requires a good personality that matches the trading strategy that you have. But by the way, I do train on trading. So if you want to train on Forex trading, feel free to contact me. We have packages for those who are starting, those who have been doing it for a while and they want refresher. This is something I've done for a number of years. It's like a side hustle for me. I do it when I want to. And that's the best way to do Forex trading. You don't want pressure to make money. You want to do it like a business. Don't push it too much. Don't be indisciplined. Don't expect too much out of the market. You need to just know that it can give you a lot of money. The good thing with Forex trading is you can scale it as much as you want. And it's flexible. You control your own time. You control your own life. You get in charge of your life. So Forex trading is definitely a good place to look into, but only look into it if you can invest in yourself, get the skills and treat it like a job and invest in it. Have a good capital amount. Don't start with 1000 Kenya shillings, even though it's possible to start that way. It won't really give you the kind of returns you'd expect and it will be too risky. It means you'll be taking too much risk to make too much money, which won't make sense for you. And you will either bust your account or you will just give up. So don't get in there with very unrealistic expectations. Just have very normal expectations when you get into something like Forex trading. But this is one area you can get into. Be consistent, be disciplined, learn the skills, and you can make money from Forex trading. I've done it. So many people are doing it. I've trained so many people who do it. The fact is, don't think that someone can trade for you. Trade for yourself. Treat it like a job and you will succeed. So like I said, there's no level with regards to Forex trading. You can you can get as much as you want based on your capital, based on your skills, based on how many times you're trading, based on the markets you're trading, but you can scale Forex trading as long as you want. And by the way, just to mention, there is a software called Trendy Signal, which I'll leave the link below. If you download this particular software, it can help you in ensuring that it, you know where the market is going, you know what to follow, how to follow trends and do things like that. It won't trade for you, it's not a robot and I'm not promising money, no, I'm saying this software can help make your life easier. You will know the trending markets, the best pairs to trade, it will also point to which direction you're likely to trade and stuff like that. It just helps enhance that experience. I'll leave a link in the description and you can always buy this software. You can download it if you're trading. It will work with your platform, wherever it is. It doesn't matter which platform you are, which broker you're using. This is just a separate software that helps you in determining and sieving through the so many pairs, the so many movements, so that you know what exactly you should be doing. It reduces the amount of intensity and work you need to do so you can focus on what gives you money. Then number three, we have online grocery store. This is one that I like. If you have an online grocery store, it's a good area to get into. The consumer industry generally is a good place to go to. And then now you bring in the technological industry, the e-commerce level. The e-commerce economy is still growing in Kenya. And I'm doing my research on this sector in law. I'm looking at the legal parameters of e-commerce for my PhD. E-commerce generally is growing in Kenya and I know so many people are making it big with e-commerce. So if you're consistent and you know you can do something like, you know, sales and stuff, you will require marketing in this particular one, but you have to find ways in which you can deliver these things sufficiently, you can source them cheaply and you can have a store. Basically, you just need a website, post whatever it is you wanna sell and then start the process of marketing yourself and deliver these things on time efficiently and make good customer service that will ensure that these people become your ambassadors 
and scale your business. So online grocery store is a good business to go into. Then we have mobile transfer services. Of course, Mpesa is here, but I'm also thinking of bank agents, bank agents whereby the banks can allow you to help people with the and deposit money without going to the main banks. There are so many ways in which you can get into the financial industry. It's one of the best places you can go to because the bulk of our economy are small scale people, people who trade in cash every single day, you know, the mamambogas, mamanyanyas, whatever it is. Those people who are the bulk of the economy, those people are at the bottom of it, whereby they source agricultural products, they sell all these things we use every single day, the shopkeeper next to you, the kiosk next to you. These people need cash transfers. Even us, we need cash transfers. All of us, we need cash transfers. So if you can have a way in which you can open an MPESA shop or be a bank agent, you can scale this business quite high. Of course, there are requirements to it. If you're going to go into something like uh, being a bank agent, you will require a bank statement of like 300,000, depending on which bank, an ID, KRA pin and stuff like that. And then you have to submit all these requirements and then you'll be approved. You can apply to different banks. There are so many banks in Kenya you can apply to. So what I'm saying is that financial services, financial transfer, mobile money transfers is something that's growing in Kenya and it's not going to stop today. So you can open an M-Pesa business, M-Pesa is going to get bigger and bigger with time. You can open a bank agency. It requires a little higher than what we thought of here. But remember, M-Pesa requires much less. I've done M-Pesa before. It's something that is possible. You can do it. It's easy. You can start with like 40,000, 20,000. You can always scale it as high as possible. So you just need consistency with most of these businesses. You need consistency, but you also need that capital and you need to use it effectively. Like I say, M-Pesa just have good customer service good location, have good capital, of course, and make sure you're consistent with it. Give it time to mature, give it time so that people can know where your MPSA is located and make customers, you will have very loyal customers. And of course, be careful because there are a lot of scammers when it comes to MPSA business, so you have to be careful with that. Go to an area that is secure, but also accessible to most people doing businesses. So where there are many people, like if you go next to like police station, for example, you will always have a good MPESA service because there are always people trying to get out of the police station with bonds, cash bonds and bribes and stuff like that. Just be skilled and you will always get opportunities. With this business, you can always make as much profit depending on your capital. So I cannot say how much. It depends on how much you invest, how many transactions you have, your location and stuff like that. So the profit can be as much as you want. You can scale it as high as you want. You can invest anything. If you're talking about 20,000 to 200,000, that's very viable for M-Pesa business. You can always invest that much. So feel free to start an M-Pesa or even bank agency business today and start this money transfer business, which is booming. And then clothes and jewelry. Secondhand clothes are still needed in Kenya. People wear these clothes. We are always obsessed about how we look, what we're wearing and stuff like that, you know, especially if you target people in universities, in colleges, in schools. When I was going to university, I used to buy clothes like Seriously, I always spent all my money on clothes and shoes and jewelry and stuff like that. Even something just like this, things like this. So it's just important that you be consistent, you find a good location, good target market, do marketing quite well, good customer service, and consistency, consistency, consistency. Remember, they are bought from abroad cheaply. They come into Kenya, you can find a way in which you bring them from abroad, which some people do, I know a few people do, or you source them locally from cheaper places and have a very good location where people will actually come and get them. If you don't want the second hand business, you can also do new clothes. Again, it just depends on the profit margin you're looking at. How can you source the new clothes and where can you actually sell them? It depends on the target, profit margin you're looking at, and which people do you actually want to buy your stuff. This is a business that will always be here. People always want to dress, people always want to look nice, people are obsessed with how they look and stuff like that. And even if you choose a niche, you can choose like a children's niche, you can choose like exercise or working out niche, maternity niche for women, or you can be men's, can be young boys, whatever it is. I know quite a number of people have done this. They just chose a particular niche and they go with that niche and they always make money out of it. So again, if you want to narrow it down, you can narrow it down. If you want to just make it general, you can make it general, depending on what you want. But this is something you can start with anything from 20,000 to 200,000. These days you can buy stuff from abroad, they arrive in the country and you sell them. Very easy. And then we have the car wash business, one of the best businesses I think in Kenya right now. People are busy buying cars and people are busy opening, you know, spare parts shop and garage and stuff. Just look for a car wash business. Look for a strategic location. Look for the investment of a machine, the pressure washer, and then, which is, will cost you around 100,000 Kenya shillings and start. And even if you don't have the machine, you can always start a car wash business without any of these things. All you need is a constant supply of water. If you can get that and you get grounds, you get a location where people can actually put their cars to be washed, you're good to go. 
So people are buying cars like they're buying clothes in Kenya. There are so many cars in Kenya right now. So this is a booming business. It's not going to stop now. And Kenya is always dusty. You wash your car here. After one, two days, the car is dirty again. You want to wash it again. You don't want to be driving around with a dirty or a dusty car. So this is a business that's not going to stop. And you can always make up to 150000 a month from this particular business. Car wash business is going to boom for a long time. If you like, you can put some basic spare parts, basic ones. The ones that people will always need, you know, on the go. They don't need to go to the garage. Just some small parts, like let's say brake pads, easy stuff. You can always drop them in your car wash area. If you have a shop, if you have a building or stuff like that. If you don't, focus on the car wash. You will still make money. Now, I want to put some two things that are interesting. Kids. If you focus on the niche of kids, there's gadgets, toys and stuff. And then we have cereals. Now, you can choose either one you want. But if you can invest in any of them, first of all, cereals are very good. Kenyans are obsessed with this Western mentality of having cereals for their children. Even adults actually do have cereals. So if you have a shop that sells cereals and you market it properly, it can be online, can be physical brick and mortar shop, you can make money using cereals. So I'll say two things that you target. You target kids and then you can either sell cereals or sell gadgets or toys. You know, so a lot of Kenyan parents always buying toys every single day. This kid needs a toy the next day, a kid needs something the next day, a kid needs something. Sell toys, sell things that are targeting the children's niche. It doesn't have to be a toy, it can also be something that the children use, you know, in their everyday life. Such things will always make you money. So I've said you can check the cereals, that's the consumerism part, and then you can check uh, the gadgets part, targeting children. You will make lots of money and you can invest anything between 20,000 to 200,000, depending on whatever amount of money you have finally wines and spirits wines and spirits is a really good business in kenya right now we are classified as one of the heaviest drinking nations we are heavy drinkers kenyans are heavy drinkers i don't drink unfortunately or fortunately enough i don't drink but i bought people drinks i bought my friends drinks i know people drink and sometimes when I have like a party, I'm gonna buy lots of drinks definitely because I have people who drink around me. If you want to scale a good business in Kenya, wines and spirits will be a good one. And trust you me, you will never go wrong with entertainment, alcohol and stuff. Even if there are other businesses doing well, you just need to bring your own niche, bring it in a unique way, in a good way that people will appreciate and love it. And you will definitely, definitely make money. I can assure you. You just need a good location, good target market, good marketing strategy, good customer service, a good place to source it in a way that you have a good profit margin and you'll be making money. These are business opportunities that you can start right now in 2021. And I can assure you, if you're consistent and disciplined, you're going to make money. You have to push and push and push. But just in conclusion, I know people are struggling with the financial side of things when they start new businesses. Therefore, we're going to come up with a section of Kent's Money Matters that will just deal with the financial issues of businesses, like financial advice for small businesses. Because sometimes the businesses die due to lack of clear financial information. Actually, almost 70 something percent of businesses die because of lack of clear structure for their finances. So we're going to work on that and we're going to come up with a very good structure. We can help you, advise you on how to structure your finances when it comes to businesses. Comment below, let me know what your idea is and you think this is something you would want or people will appreciate. We will just want to add value to our people and to our economic growth. Thank you guys. And this video has been long, but very useful. I hope to see you in the next part two, where we're going to talk about more business opportunities.